Hello, welcome to PNT Poultry. In this video, I'm going to show you how to incubate eggs in the Archon range of incubators. What I've done is I've ordered eggs via post, and none of these eggs are my own, they've all been posted, and I'm going to show you how to use them in the incubators, and obviously it will give you better results of what you'll receive. Most people obviously buy eggs in and therefore receive posted eggs. So we will see the results you get from posted eggs. Okay, in the first incubator I've already set 48 chicken eggs. They're mainly various types of Orpington and uh, I've been turning them. I, I, they all arrived in the post yesterday and I've laid them out. I've let them rest for 24 hours but I have turned them every, every sort of uh, five or six hours just to keep them sort of smooth. So all I do now is literally just turn on the machine check the settings and it's 37.5 and 45% humidity. I've already put the water in so that's fine. So the machine will now come up to temperature, up to humidity and um, it, it's going to sort of be incubating absolutely fine. Ideally when you do your own eggs I would recommend having the incubator running, making sure you test it first, make sure it's all running up to heat and then put your eggs in after you rested them. But because I'm doing so many for you and in such a short period of time and such a small space working in, I've had to do it this way to sort of get the video done for you. Okay, and the second incubator is exactly the same again, 48 eggs, mainly different colours of Orpington, some Brahmas, um, again exactly the same system, they've been rested and turned for 24 hours, and now again I just set the incubator, checking that the settings are right for what I want them to be, which they will be, so as the incubator warms up, obviously the eggs will, they'll do the turning, everything set for those. Okay, in Incubator 3, what's happened so far is the eggs arrived a day later, so I've only set all of these eggs today. So, what I'll do is basically turn the incubator on, and all I'll do then is I'll test and hold the turn button, and the eggs will turn. The reason I, I do this sort of four or five times a day while I'm resting the eggs, after they've been posted, so they all ready to go and I will start the incubation tomorrow. But rather than turn every egg by hand, I get the machine to do it and then I unplug it. And but I will start that incubator tomorrow. In the third incubator, I've set 24 pheasant eggs. So being an Arcom 20 Pro, this is going to be easy to set up for pheasant eggs. At the moment I just choose on the menu, I just choose the species I want, which is pheasant. I enter the pheasant settings. You can do this as a quick setting but I like to go through and just check all the settings so you check the temperature, what day is the temperature, how many, what percentage of humidity but obviously you'll know this if you've got a pro yourself and just check how many and the degree of angle of turning, how many days of turning and so I'm happy with that, gone through all the settings just to make sure I'm happy with them myself and now the incubator is set so the Humidity will get to the right level, the temperature will get to the right level, and the program is preset. The beautiful thing with the Arcom 20 Pro is it does everything for you. Okay, in incubator 5, I have some red-legged pheasants, uh, sorry, partridge, and I have English grey partridge. So, again, I'm trying to give you as much a variety of eggs as possible. So, what I'm going to do with this one again, um, is I'm going to go in, and the beautiful thing with these eggs is, I can actually use pheasant again. The reason I've chosen these is actually to be quite easy because they're exactly the same settings as a pheasant. So I just choose pheasant and then I just go through the settings again making sure that the temperatures, humidity is turning. I like to, I mean you don't have to do this, you can do a quick set if you want but I like to just check everything through and there you go and now that is preset and all of that will just do itself automatically. All I've got to do with the Arcon 20 Pro is top up the water. Okay, incubator 6 is a very unique thing for me. It's emu eggs. I've never done emu eggs before. I've done rias and I've done many other types of eggs but I've never done emu eggs. The reason I'm doing this is number one to test out the unit, number two to test out the candle which I'll show you in a video later and number three just to have fun and do it. Right, so we power up now the other reason I actually chose emu eggs is because they take so long. They take 55 turning days and 5 non-turning days. Or they, they roughly hatch from 55 days on, so you normally do 55 days of turning. So what I do is I go into menu, up, and I go to other birds. So I'm going to write my own program. Now the other reason I've chosen these is because I know that they take longer than the cycle 
of the uh, Arcom 20 Pro. The maximum days you can put on the Arcom 20 Pro is 50. So I'm going to increase the days on the screen to 50. You cannot do any more than 50. So I'm going to set the setting to 50 days. So the whole cycle on this one is 50 days. So I know that when this 50 days is up, I then have to rewrite my program for another 10 days, 5 of turning and 5 of not turning. Okay, so I enter my 50 days, and the temperature for the first 50 days is 36.4 Celsius. So what we do is we change the program down from 37.5, we go to 36.4. So you'll see all the way across you go 36.4. Okay, so all this period it's going to be 36.4. It's much lower than, than poultry eggs. Okay, and now the humidity is also lower. It's at 35 for this whole period. So again, we go down with the humidity to 35. And for the... we we'll change all settings to 35 for the, this whole period. 35. Okay, and now it's asking me about turning the eggs. How much angle do I want to turn? <laughs> well, I want to turn the maximum angle. And the maximum angle is 180 degrees. But that's 180 degrees for a standard size egg. So even though this is going to turn the eggs every hour, I'm still have to going to manually, because when it turns, it will only turn a small amount, because it will be designed for smaller eggs. So at least three times a day, I'm going to have to physically pick up the egg and turn it 180 degrees myself. Because although this is 180 degrees, this is 180 degrees for a chicken egg. For this, it would only be something like 25, 30 degrees. So I'm going to turn every hour. So it now starts the incubation. So I've set the incubation up for 50 days. But the beautiful thing is I have a count there and it will say D-Day 50 days and when it gets to the last day I know I've got to reset the program because I'm taking it beyond what the Arcom 20 Pro can do. It can do any egg that is 50 days or less but the reason I've got emus is for, to test everything to its absolute limit. Okay so I've roughly showed you how to set up and what I'm doing. Um, now I always use the Arcom 20 Pro when I'm in my own hatching room but because obviously this is in my office or part of my office I'm doing various incubators just to get the sort of volume in, in the space I need. Now the beautiful thing with pros, they're already preset. you've got programs on that do everything for you but obviously with the standard models you have to remember when you started the incubation, when you have to change the settings and when, when it's due to finish. So all I'm going to do it just made a little place setting like that, telling me which day it starts, which day to stop the turning and which way to raise humidity, and obviously which day is due to finish. So that's just a, just a reminder card of what to do. So I put them by each incubator so we know what it is. Obviously that incubator will be started tomorrow. What I also plan to do tomorrow in the next video is I'm going to set an incubator here, which will be for duck eggs, but not ordinary duck eggs, not simple duck eggs which are 28 days. I'm going to go for muscovies which are 33 days, which is going to, again, where I have to show you how to write a program for the Arcom 20 Pro. And then finally I'm going to set up another incubator, hopefully tomorrow if the eggs arrive, because they're being delayed at the moment, with turkey eggs. And I'm going to run 20 turkey eggs in an Arcom 20 for you as well. And that way I can show you how the incubators work, the incubation time periods, how to candle each each unit and what sort of hatch rates to expect hopefully with with posted eggs so the next incubator will follow the next video will follow later